Hello, beautiful people. Liz Andrea here. And today it is Saturday. It is August the 13th, 2016. And I'm coming to you guys with a little bit of a weigh in update. Now, I'm not really sure. This is kind of like a Friday, Saturday. I decided to stop like weighing myself every single day, yet I've been weighing myself every single day. But I do, as usual, um, or should I say, I am, as usual, part of an ongoing challenge with the Take It Back group and the ladies who I am uh, affiliated with in that group. So right now I'm on a 30-day challenge for myself, basically, not to eat any flour, so no bread, not to eat any cookies or cake. I am having a bit of a problem with ice cream, even though I said I didn't want to eat any processed sugars, and I only wanted to eat um, anything that was like fruits or vegetables. So, I mean... I'm not saying that I'm doing exactly great, but yesterday and today, uh, I have to say I'm doing much better with my choices and not binging because I've really been having a big time problem with that. And the issue is getting to the point where I just don't know, or I was starting to get to the point where I just didn't know like how I was going to deal with this. Cause every time I do the same thing, to myself, the same thing ends up happening. When I introduce bad habits back into my life, those bad habits kind of like take over immediately and it's that cycle again of just insanity of trying to get that taste out of my mouth or that craving. So in order to combat the cravings, you got to not give in to them. Cravings will pass, that usually do so rather quickly, so they say. Uh, for me, I've had cravings that go on, or at least they seem to go on for days and sometimes even weeks where I will crave a certain food and until I actually eat that food and give in to getting that food and putting it in my mouth, I mean, it is just like crazy, but it doesn't stop the cravings. So I don't believe the idea is to give in to the craving and eat whatever it is you're craving, but rather than try to eat something else in place of the craving. So in other words, if you're craving something crunchy or you're craving something sweet or maybe something crunchy and sweet, maybe you can eat something like sugar snap peas or uh, choose some, a handful of, you know, a healthy serving of almonds. Um, you know, there's all kinds of different alternatives too. Some of them may be a little bit more calories than others. Some of them may be less. Uh, lately, I've been eating a lot of zucchini and just... Uh, eating a lot of plant-based foods, salads, chicken. I have been eating chicken. I have not been able to give up the chicken. One of these days, I hope I'm maybe going uh, vegan. I am primarily a plant-based and fruit-based with chicken, um, ground turkey, and any kind of fish. Uh, so I, I call myself a pollo pescatarian. However, um, you know, because I just really haven't been able to gonna give up on eating those particular proteins. And I also haven't learned what I would be able to replace those proteins with, even though I do watch a lot of vegans here. So yeah, pretty much, you know, don't give in to the cravings because at least for me anyways, I just can't give in to the cravings. You know, to say I'm gonna have a cheat day or something is just kind of ridiculous on my part because I'm just gonna, take a couple of steps backwards from where I'm at. And I just need to get the healthy cravings rolling again. And what I mean by that is like, if I keep just eating healthy foods, my body's just gonna keep craving healthy foods. So I've been eating a lot of zucchini and green leafy vegetables and um, a little bit of chicken, like I said. The other night I had some fish and I'm just trying to keep on that because I've been losing weight a little at a time. I literally, I don't know, I'm looking over there, but it's over here. I literally got up to 248.4 pounds was like my heaviest that I've been in quite a while. And that's unacceptable. I mean, I mean, last month around the same time I was 247.8. And then like this month, around the same time, I want to say around the 9th, I was 248.8. Or it was the 8th. I was 240. No, I'm sorry. It was the 10th. And then last month around the, uh, like I said, 247.8 was on the 20th. So, you know, do the math. And it's just flip-flopping of the weight is really not good. You know, I should have been whoop, way past my goal a long time ago. We already all know that. That's like, 
neither here nor there. But uh, I have to stop playing around with my life. It's, it's just getting ridiculous. You know, from a moment of bliss on the lips for a lifetime of sh on my hips. And I'm really just getting tired of it because it's, it, it's sad. You know, it's sad for me to work so hard, you know, um, eat good, eat good, eat good. And then, bam, eat one bad freaking thing or just have a little powwow out in the kitchen with a bunch of cake or some crap that I really don't need to be even making because I can't have it in the house. And the next thing I know, all hell breaks loose and I wake up the next day and I gain three or four pounds overnight. It's just ridiculous to think that you can actually gain three or four pounds in one night and it takes me a whole week to lose three or four pounds or, or to lose even half of that. Is just like, why am I doing this to myself? So I need to just keep trying to stay focused on eating healthy foods. Keep them up here in my mind, you know? That little movie playing in my mind, just playing all healthy foods, okay? I'm thinking of the healthy food that I see on Pinterest. I'm thinking of the food porn that I see all over the internet of all and only healthy food. Um, it's just the way it's got to be. I cannot be thinking about cakes and cookies and pies and any of those kind of sweet treats. I, it, it is kind of there. I have some ice cream out there. It's that slow churn stuff. I did have some of it earlier, but having a little bit of it is nothing in comparison to going out there and eating the whole entire container. You know, hello guys. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is what gets me in trouble. Um, you know, not having control, not being able to stop myself, just getting into the damn stuff, whatever it is, and just not having the control enough to say stop. So, you know, one of the other things that's very helpful for me, and I noticed this, is not eating out of a container. And I say that with love to all of you guys who are watching me right now, due to the fact that I know what it does to me, and I'm pretty sure it happens with you guys also. Now, this was something that I already knew. This is not something new for me. I knew this with eating like chips or almonds out of the bag or any of those like little, you know, grab snacks as I call them. And yet, you know, sitting and eating a couple of spoonfuls of ice cream out of the container, well, you know, do I really know what I'm putting in my mouth? You know, if you cannot weigh it, or you cannot at least put it into a cup or a half a cup or whatever and see somewhat of the portion that you're eating. And chances are you're either overeating your calories or you're under eating and you're cheating yourself out of calories that you could possibly allow yourself to have. And I'm so guilty of this lately. And all it is is because of sheer laziness. Like I get a little too comfortable. I think I know what I'm eating and nah, this won't hurt. This is just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I did so good today. And I go ahead and I start doing stupid stuff. Another thing I was told, like standing up and eating. And now like I have a dining room table, but like the chairs we have are like the suckiest chairs around and I don't enjoy sitting at the table. And my mom stands and eats at the counter and so I basically have been standing and eating at the counter. But I know that doing such activity is causing us to maybe not really enjoy our food like we need to be sitting down at a table and enjoying it. And that in itself, I heard, can cause us to possibly overeat. So, you know, all these little things are taking place. Uh, I'm still watching some of the mukbangers out there. A lot of you guys I'm subscribed to. A lot more of you guys I just recently subscribed to. I have some plans in the works in the future for my channel or for another channel that I want to do. And um, I'm particularly focusing on mukbangers. Um... But I can't myself be a mukbanger, not in an everyday thing, uh, maybe a once in a while thing. Definitely if I do it, it's only going to be when I'm making huge or copious amounts of veggies and stuff and greens where they're not a lot of calories. For anybody who knows me knows I try to keep my meals to about 300 calories and no more. And, um, you know, I can make a lot of food or I can make a a plate that looks like a lot of food and it is a lot of food but that isn't that many calories due to the fact that it is primarily like a bunch of greens which is very filling or veggies or something to that effect but eating rice and eating sushi and eating these things which I know I can't be eating because they make me gain tremendous amounts of weight overnight is not an option I really have to stop doing that just because I bought a brand new rice steamer doesn't mean I have to use the rice steamer every single day and I can also use it for vegetables. Um, 
just because I have some nori in the in the cabinet doesn't mean I have to go and roll up a bunch of sushi with rice and eat it. I could actually just roll up some veggies and cucumbers and maybe some crab sticks or something with avocado and I can eat that. You know, so they're all there is always options. There is always alternates. There's always something else that I can do in lieu of and still be able to bring those kind of videos to you guys if that's what you're actually interested in watching from me. But if you're on a weight loss journey and you are a food addict like me, then maybe it's quite possible that you're not watching my channel anymore because you have seen some of those kind of videos on my channel and you don't want to see that kind of stuff from me because it does, not everybody can watch people eat and not then get hungry and want to eat or eat that on which they see them eating and not or crave what they see them eating. So I just want to put that out there. I mean, for me, sometimes I watch other people eat because I get a little bit like, ooh, I don't want to do that. And I'm not saying that to uh, offend any of you guys who do mukbangs at all whatsoever. Um, but I can't help but sit there and think about the fact that, oh my God, I know how much weight that I can gain myself in doing that. And then to see them doing it, I do kind of think like, how long is it going to be before they blow up and become over 300 pounds or something, which is where I was at you know, quite a few years ago, um, and I wasn't, that didn't happen because of mukbangs, that just happened, you know, because I was just, you know, I was doing mukbang, I was eating my own, I had my own eating show going on, and I was eating and, and filling my face and, and my, my emotions and whatnot with food, and obviously not knowing anything about food or reading nutrition labels or anything, I allowed myself to get to that weight. That was pre-2011, October 2nd. However, that being said, you know, I successfully took off 80 pounds. I did that in rather a very fast amount of time, I would say, considerably fast, or maybe that was like normally fast. I mean, from October 2nd, 2011, probably till about April of 2012, prior to my moving uh, and making a, a total 135 mile away from where I used to be relocation, um, you know, I was, I was successful at losing weight. You know, mind you, I also took on doing a... Um, uh, what do you call those, independent contractor type sales, uh, direct sales marketing scheme things. I'm not going to mention any names, but there were two particular ones that were like sister companies to one another. One of them definitely wasn't good for me because it was, we'll just say definitely not good for me. You know, I don't want to bash anything or anyone or any, any, any of that. But um, it wasn't good for me. I needed to focus on me and not take the focus off of me and put it on other things so much as, yeah, maybe have a hobby or something like that so I can focus on other things. But, okay, let's get to the numbers. I'm, I'm done with the rambling. I needed to talk. It's actually, I don't want to admit this to you guys, but it's actually like late in the morning. And so this isn't going to get to you guys. If it does at all uh, on Sunday, I have no idea. But I want you guys to be able to uh, see this sometimes on time. Sometimes it's going to be the day after the fact, and I really apologize for that, but it's been taking an incredibly long time to upload the incredibly long videos, and this one's already over 13 minutes. So, uh, last week on Friday, now I'm going to do a Friday and a Saturday. I'm going to do numbers for both days, and the reason I do this is because I, used, I was doing the original Friday videos, if you notice in my playlist, I was doing every Friday weigh-in, which is my original weigh-in. And then, of course, for the Take It Back group that I'm in with my Warrior Sisters doing ongoing challenges every 90, 30 days, whatever, um, I was doing a Saturday weigh-in. Um, so I'm going to give you both numbers. So Friday, this Friday in particular, I was 245.8, and that was down uh, 1.4 overnight. <laughs> But it was plus one from the prior week because last Friday I was 246.8. So I actually gained a pound on Friday um, from Friday to Friday. And now today, Saturday, I'm 244.8. Now I came down a pound from yesterday. However, I am plus six ounces from last week's weight of 244. Um, was it 244.2? Oh, okay. No, I actually lost. I don't know why I have a, I put a plus instead of a minus. That's how I do it. But I actually lost six ounces because Saturday, um, last Saturday I was 244.2. So 244.8. So I actually lost six ounces. So I'm six ounces down this week from last Saturday, but I am one pound up from last Friday. 
hope that makes sense. But anyways, I'm just going to count Saturday because that's what today is here in this video. I don't mean to confuse any of you guys. It's bad enough that it's uh, and obvious that I am confused myself. I do want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I don't know if you're really here because of me and my channel or my somewhat humor or if it's something else um there's these shout out channels they're, they're mostly gamers but they do shout outs for other people and i don't know somebody posted to somebody else and i just thought it would be kind of cool to check into it and i kind of like the guy so i just joined his channel and now you know i'm getting all these uh shout outs and uh stuff from gamers and some of them i'm if you notice the comments in the comment section, you might notice some of them. They're asking me to come and check out their channel. And I guess that's what you do to help one another uh, with subscribers. But, you know, I don't, I've said this before in one of my other videos. I'm not just looking for subscribers. I need views. Um, we all do. If you're, if you're out here and you're, you have a channel and you're making videos, it's not really the subscriber count that counts. It's the views that count. Because I, I could see videos where they have much, much, much more views on a video than they have even close to the number of subscribers they have. And or it could be vice versa. But if you're subscribed to a channel and you're not actively going back and watching those videos in full from beginning to end or clicking on something or commenting or liking it or sharing it, what good is it? Um, you know, it's not that I, I want to sound like I don't appreciate it. But I want subscribers who want to be here for me, for what I can provide for them, for the help that I might hopefully be able to give to you guys. Uh, that's really what it's all about at the end of the day. I mean, yes, views are cool. Yes, any kind of revenue that I might be able to make because I am now monetizing majority of my videos that don't have any music or anything in the background that I can monetize. I mean, this is all true. I'm, I'm learning these things as I go. And so I want to try to check it out and see how it works for me. It was my own younger brother that told me if I'm not monetizing my videos, no matter what, like I was like, I don't have that many subscribers or, you know, I'm not that great of a YouTuber or whatever. He's like, that don't matter. I mean, he has like a little uh, droid cam that he flies around uh, where he lives. He lives on like a, uh, off of a, a deer, you know, well, I guess it's like a wildlife preserve around his house. And, and he flies this thing all over and can see like different views and whatnot and hover. And, and, it, and it's wonderful. I love his videos. He doesn't have like many of them. But um, that was the point I was trying to make by even bringing that up is that he says, you know, I monetize my videos. It doesn't matter how many you have. It doesn't matter how many views you have, how many subscribers you have, nothing. You should always be monetizing your videos. So, you know, he's a rich kid. I go ahead and I listen to him. I go ahead and I do what my brother says because if I want what my brother has, I have to do what my brother does. And um, I can't do everything that my brother does. Some of the stuff he does, I'm really not all that interested in doing. Um, and so, yeah, at the end of the day, it's really not about making money for me. I mean, it is, but it ain't because I don't want to uh, submit myself to doing something I'm not going to be happy with doing. So, But obviously, I'm happy with trying to lose weight, at least for myself. And like I said, if I can help anybody along the way that I'm more than happy to do that and uh, everybody needs a little help along the way with some encouragement some laughter some um help that maybe uh you didn't look up that maybe i did and i found out or you know whatever case may be anyways if the camera's shaking because i just clapped my hand down on the desk here i'm so sorry and uh yeah with that said be happy be healthy be beautiful but just be you be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey and i will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video bye guys be blessed.